Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Use a skill, watch him beat. That's another picky D. Doing everybody bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. You just getting stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got some mad librarian, now watch him throw a book. Wow. Capping like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Ayy, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Ayy, ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. What's happening, Doggy Bone, man? We back, man. Uh, my bad for not streaming. I got a story time for y'all, but my bad for not streaming, bro. This sciatica acting up is, uh, you know what I'm saying? I got all the medicinals, all the medicines and all that. Not medicinals as far as uh, smoky smoke, unk don't smoke. But I just got wild medicine everywhere. I got turmeric, B1, B12, pain relievers, muscle relaxers, anti-inflammatories. I'm drinking... Wow, I mean, I didn't spend so much money on uh, all this healthy shit that's supposed to. Uh, I, I ain't gonna get into it. Let's get into the story time, doggy bone. Smash the like button, subscribe if you new. All right, so I did. I'm gonna tell you a story of how I found out I was dating a runner. You know what I'm saying? A choo choo. You know what I'm saying? A, a promiscuous one. So uh, I meet this girl again. Dating sites. I want to say I met Shorty off, um, damn, I can't remember uh, the site. It, it was like a uh, high five. Yeah, I told you I was everywhere. So I meet Shorty. High five was like a little low key joint. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was for actual dating. So, but I wasn't trying to date. I'm like, I'm trying to clap something. So I meet Shorty on high five. We go out a couple times. And I'm like, you don't got no other. She's like, no, nah, I just, I, I'm only on high five. I really don't like being on all those other sites, it'd be too much going on, and, you know what I'm saying, I like to be low-key, so I'm like, that's what's up, you a good girl, man, so me and Shorty go out a couple times, we kicking it, she not even letting me clap, so I'm like, ooh, I can't get the chitties, look at you loving the Lord, being good, so I'm like, yo, green, green, green light, you know what I'm saying, this wifey, you know what I'm saying, so we going out, like, you know what I'm saying? We 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 hold the hands. Um, I'm not somebody who be in the city. Like, uh, y'all know I'm from Detroit. But when I go places and I go out, like, take my lady, I, I go outside the city. Because the city ain't nothing but a shootout waiting to happen, for real. So, um, this one time, I'm like, let's go to Buffalo Wild Wings. You know what I'm saying? I love B-dubs. So, she like, yeah, <coughs> let's go. And, uh... She get to talking like, so after uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, what you want to do? We been kicking it for like two months. And I'm like, uh, shoot, what, you want to do something? Man, you want to go to the movies? Well, I'm like, what you, let me know what you want to do, babe. I'm calling Shorty Bay, And she like, well, I was thinking maybe you could spend a night with me. I'm like, spend a night? She's like, yeah. I mean, we, we kind of official, ain't we? I'm like, yeah, shorty, we official as hell. So she's like, yeah, come through. I'm she like, spend the night. I'm like, bad. So I'm like, I, now I'm really, I'm really, I don't even want to go to B-dubs no more. Because shorty that made me wait two months. So we go to B-dubs, we sitting down. And then a girl that I know walked past. She shoot me an ugly eye. And uh, my lady at the time see it. And she like, who was that? I'm like, nah, we went to high school together. Like, we cool. So I'm like, what the hell wrong with her? She like, that's your ex? I'm like, no, nah, we never did nothing. You know what I'm saying? She works at the B-dubs. So I go to the bathroom and Shorty pulled me to the side. You know what I'm saying? So what the hell is you doing? I'm like, I'm with my girl. Yo, that's your girl? She made a face. Hey, that's your girl? I'm like, yeah. I love her. Well, I didn't love her, but you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm defensive now. What the hell going on? You would never do this. I'm like, what? What's wrong? You know her? She was like, yeah. She a runner. My brother and them ran her at a party uh last year. I'm like, man, out of here. You don't believe me? 
hopped on the phone immediately, called her brother. Um, hey, what was that girl name that y'all ran at the party? She let everybody get it. Oh, uh, said shorty name. I'm like, grabs pearls. Not only do they say, like, yeah, man. Hey, she was with everything, bro. We shot a movie. A movie? Cinematic Adventures? Man, dog sent the video through, man. Broke it my heart, man. I'm talking about, it was about seven dudes punishing my girl, man. Punishing her. And I'm talking about she going crazy on it, too. Meeting hand, getting delivered. You know what I'm saying? I literally, I didn't even, I, I, I just walked out, bro. Couldn't take it. Hopped in my whip, sat in the whip for about 20 minutes, bro. Until Shorty came out. And I just drove her to the crib, dropped her off. And I didn't spend a night, bro. I didn't even talk to her for like three days until I told her that I knew. Imagine making me wait for the cheeks and you shot cinematic adventures like that. What's happening, doggy bone, man? We Oh, shit, man. Hold on. Pause, pause, pause. Ruin my intro. Uh, camera got blurry as hell. There we go, man. What's happening, Doggy Bone, man? We back. I got a banger for y'all, bro. I'm playing against Chrome, Neon, X, um, who is probably one of the better players that I've played this year. Um, he has godly pocket presence, and you'll see it in this game, bro. Like, he always makes the perfect reads, bro. Like, he's very hard to blitz as we go here. Uh, he's in dollars, so we go uh, QB draw with that, with that 94 speed, Russell. And we go ahead and take it to the crib first play of the game. But you'll see playing him, bro, he is an extremely tough player to blitz. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like he knows, like, he knows the openings in your defense before you do. And you'll see it in this gameplay, man. This this ends up being a hell of a game. Um, we've played before, and, and it's on the channel, too. I think the thumbnail was like a wing stack. Uh, it was something like that, but it was a really, really good game, as you can see. Like, he has that Flacco. He, like, as you can see, like, look how well he maneuvers in his pocket. And I know a lot of y'all, like, I'm like, okay. But let's keep it a buck. A, a very many of you niggas don't have pocket presence. I don't have it some games. You know what I'm saying? So you'll see he always climbing. He's always moving left and right in the pocket. You know what I'm saying? Find his space and still keeping his eyes up the field to find the open man. You know what I'm saying? Like he, like he's one of my. You like you ever played somebody in Madden and then you was like you wanted to watch them like play offense. You know what I'm saying? Even though you on the sticks playing against them, he's one of the people that I like. I enjoy playing, bro, because. I'm going to have to find a different way to get, you know what I'm saying, stops on dog. Because you're not going to, like, you're not going to get a shit ton of stops on him. Uh, blitzing, you know what I'm saying? He got, he, he understands how to pick up, uh, pick up the blitz. He understands how to maneuver in the pocket. You feed me? He understands all his reads. Like, he got a real good bunch. So, um, I enjoy playing dog. As you see, he audibles down the, uh, tight pretty usual you know what i'm saying his tight code though i give him that he can, but but it's because if he goes from bunch to tight and it, it just threw me off and, and i ain't i'm gonna keep it a thigh while with y'all i was not having a good day today bro y'all remember i was supposed to stream i couldn't stream i woke up man in tremendous pain i'm talking about boy that sciatic high Whoop my ass today, man. I got the damn. So all, before all you doctors come, bro, these are anti-inflammatories and muscle relaxers, uh, pain relievers. This is like this gel that I'm that I'm supposed to rub. This is turmeric, B12, nigga B1. I got everything, bro. So shut up. But you see, I scream at him. So he does like to go for two. 
which was I'm like, all right, cool. So if I can just hold him on them twos, it'll allow me to kind of accumulate. You know what I'm saying? A good a good lead if I can continuously score. Now he does run Dolaire for the uh, for the usual. But I like Dog's dollar because you know what I'm saying it um he makes a lot of good adjustments. So look, the biggest thing about Dollar with me breaking that first run, he'll he'll pinch now. He'll pinch to try to contain the dollar. But the one thing about when you pinch uh out of dollar it makes it a lot harder for your pressure to come in. So if me being able to run the ball more has already kind of mitigated him being able to send crazy pressure. As you see, uh, it gets picked up. We just hit the draw and uh, just take a, a yard. You know what I'm saying? As long as I can keep him pinched, um, uh, as long as I can keep dog pinched and contain his pressure, I'm super comfortable being able to move the ball. Um, this game, I want to say I'm, I run one play 90% of this game. Uh, whenever I play dollar in general, I'm running one play. Right there, we hit um, the Litnikoff on the corner route. That I, I've noticed something, too, about route tech. You get wild separation, and sometimes it still does not light up. Now, throughout the game, even if I'm not going to pick up crazy, you know what I'm saying, big games with the QB draw, I still need to run it. I still need to make him understand if you if you do not pinch that line, I'm going to cook you with this QB draw. Even if I lose yards every time because if he, if I lose even if I it's like it's just it's 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 a strategy thing. Even if I lose yards every time I run that shit as we go ahead and bomb me right there. Just, just what I noticed from the, uh, from the previous was this guy was dropping a lot. So I'm like, all right, let me go wide curl since I see him dropping. And I want to see what zone he is in. You know what I'm saying? Is he in a quarter? I know he not in no half. So I kind of figured I'd be able to get in the seams. You know what I'm saying? And, and make a play happen. But uh, he was manned up and that guy was flat. So we ended up getting him up top. But yeah, like I said, it's, it's more of a, of a just a mental game. Yeah, if I if you keep, if I keep running QB draw and you're excuse me, and you're stopping it with the pinch line, you're going to continuously pinch your line, which I want you to do because it allows me to pick up your blitz better and then be more effective in the uh, in the run game. Of, like really, the QB draw is just a sacrificial lamb for real. You know what I'm saying? So right here, as you can see, I'm, I'm only rushing three. I'm, oh, God damn, uh, Scud missing. Like, I'm only rushing three because I want to ensure, like, I want to make damn good show that, you know what I'm saying, I don't get fried with the vertical route, with the uh, seams, because I played him before. Blitzing dog don't work. You have to have a different strat for him. And my strat usually is just try to play coverage defense, rush three or four, you know what I'm saying, make good adjustments, and, and you know what I'm saying, and then play it that way. I feel like a bunch is one of the toughest formations to blitz in the game. You know what I'm saying? That's a large reason why everybody runs it. Tight, I'm blitzing the hell out of tight. But bunch, I tend to play a bit more conservative. I feel like bunch might be the, one of the hardest formations in the game to block. Um, so, and I'm also hearing that this Flacco is the new best QB in the game. And I'm, and I'm thinking to start to make like a transition, you know what I'm saying? Evolve creatively with content and do, uh, more card reviews. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if, if that sounds like a good idea to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Kind of just, well, and it's not really, as he hits me with the end route, it's not really a huge creative jump. You know what I'm saying? But I do want to start doing, like, more card reviews, buying, I um, mean, purchasing the newest cards, running with them. Right here, he auto, he flips his bunch, and I'm like, damn, bro, we, you sweating something crazy, bro. You flipping the bunchy unchy? Like, when you, like, like, a lot of people try to say that, like, man, I don't be sweating, I just be playing. You know what I'm saying? But when you start flipping bunch, audibling around crazy, all that, you sweating hard. Like, I watched him in a game with uh, Skim. He ended up losing a game against Skim. 
And he was, I knew he was hell because he was giving Skim hell with his bunch and all that. And you know, Skim is, is Skim, Skim is bunch. Like you can't say bunchy unchy without mentioning Skim. You know what I'm saying? So to be able to even give Skim issues uh, in your bunch, like he, he a dog. Uh, let me know in the comments. No, nah, actually, no. Don't let me know, man, because y'all be lying, bro. I was going to say let me know if you played it, but, but every time I play somebody who's tough, it's always that one dude, two dudes coming to kind of, yeah, I played, dog. I, I, I beat him 82 to 0, man, but you know what I'm saying? GG's, though, definitely was a good game for y'all. You know what I'm saying? It's always that one dude. Always in the comment section capping real caposaurus. So, um, right here, I'm like, damn, uh, especially with him mis mentioned, uh, mixing in that motion run. Because a lot of people do motion across the formation for bunch, so I can't really sell out to the run like I want to. But him motioning over and uh, snapping that base is kind of tough, too. I'm like, yo, whenever he go, then he goes down the trips. So I'm like, yo, this nigga's running everything, bro. Like, I did win our first game, so I'm like, maybe he got some type of hate in his heart for me. And I did, that was a bad adjustment. I'm going to tell you why uh, right here. So when he motions him out, I can keep the flat. The seam, the seam flat is kind of extra where I should have, I should have vert hooked him right here because I already have him manned up. You know what I'm saying? So if I have him manned up and the seam flat, I have this area protected. He's not going to put him on a streak to the back of the end zone. And then I have the protection underneath and him manned up. And you don't really throw corner routes in this area. You know what I'm saying? Because corner routes aren't really good inside the 10. So I should have hook curled dog so I could have some protection along this back line because I was blitzing. And then, you know what I'm saying, I would have to alert this area right here. But for whatever reason, I kept the same flat. The pressure got there. You know what I'm saying? It was good defense. If I Even if I man him up, you know what I'm saying, I want to do something with that guy on that back side. I mean, uh, yeah, on the back side, weak side of the defense. But I didn't, bro. So it was just... Just bad adjusties overall. Right here, I'm like, all right, I know he's going to audible the tight. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, he probably want to go with the hitch route, with the little crossers on, along the back end. So I'm going to send pressure again off the right side. And then I'm going to hop up in these flats and these seams to make sure I take all that away. And the pressure gets there again. So we're able to get uh, a two-point I mean, a two -point lead. So if I score right here, you know what I'm saying, I'm good money. I'm thinking cover four right here. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm just waiting to see what he does, honestly. If he drops, I'm like, cool. I'm going to be able to hit this post as a one-play tub from Tim Brown. If he doesn't drop, I'm going to have to probably throw the post right here because his user is probably going to shoot towards the uh, corner route or he's going to move to take away this drag, which I don't understand why you would take away the drag with 32 seconds left. The drag ain't really super important. So again, he goes, he moves towards the drag. Boom, I hit him across the middle. He clicks on, tries to go for the hit stick. Big play tug, you know what I'm saying? Only thing I read on that time, because remember, I hit him with the deep ball from Randy Momo earlier. You know what I'm saying? So he still has him in the flat for the corner route. I noticed that. He's backpedaling. He's not running with Randy. He's backpedaling. So I'm like, all right, cool. That's a that's a cloud flat. He's running here. I see him in a deep half uh, making a beeline to stay with Randy. So it clears out this entire middle of the field for me. So I, I, I was looking at that the entirety of the time. You know what I'm saying? I know he's a good player. He's going to make a lot of adjustments. So I just need to be able to read... Uh, that deep high safety in that corner route on that left side of the field and that'll make a determination of where I'm going to go with the ball this game you know what I'm saying sometimes you sometimes I'm I'm, I'm making reads based off where what his user is doing uh, sometimes I'm, I'm making uh, reads based on the the, the the corner on the on the right side you know it, it, it differs every game so right here 
I'm like, all right, I know when he motions him across, this is a C route um, street combo or a C route corner route combo. Always. Especially if he uh, doesn't let him settle. If he allows him to settle. If he motion snaps it, it's usually a slant route. So right here, my thing is as he hits me in the seams, I'm like, make the tackles and then keep him in bounds so he burns the TOs. I want to have him take short stuff. So um, I'm going to mix in and send in pressure. I'm going to make adjustments. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do a, a, a few different things to kind of keep dog in line and don't allow him to beat me up top right there. I knew that uh, corner route was coming. We play it well, but the high ball just makes it impossible to pick off. Especially with Bo Jackson. So right here, I'm just sending the crib. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to allow you to be able to do uh, throw it in the seams, make quick throws, etc., and get in field gear goal range. I'm gonna send the I'm gonna send the crib at you, and you're gonna have to check down to the flats, or you're gonna get sacked. You know what I'm saying? It, it's imperative that I don't give up points right here. Right here, he checks down. We make the tackle. We get out the half scot free. You know what I'm saying? Because he does get ball. Now in this second half, the goal is to just score. Is if I score a touchdown, every time I touch the ball, I win the game. It's that simple. That's all I got to do. Again, we play really good defense, but it's a high ball. You know what I'm saying? We run him out of bounds, but it's very hard to pick that pass up. I just need to be there to try to break it up for real, for real. That's why I low-key thought about putting deep zone knockout on uh, my user. So when I do user those routes, I can't knock them out. You know what I'm saying that, I, that that boy, that's a that's a good that's a good plan. But yeah, boy, I'm I'm going through it right now. I'm in hella pain, and I'm, I'm actually I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to record a little bit more. It's late too. I'm gonna try to record one or two more games. See if I can uh, get matched up with a really good opponent, so I can have gameplay, really good gameplay throughout the week, so I can take a day or two off from recording and everything and kind of just rest that's 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 essentially what i need i need a, i need a lot of rest I, that what i was telling my doc well that what my doc was telling me as he damn that damn corner route my doc was telling me i need rest and i was telling him that i need paper so <laughs> we had an impasse doc because i got to get this pepperoni and cheese man i got the out-of-state cheer comp is coming up so I got to make sure I have content for Saturday and Sunday because I won't be here. You know what I'm saying? So I really need to grind content for these next day or two and just suck it up, bro. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing but a little bit of pain. Right here he goes uh, trips. Uh, I'm, I'm like, all right, cool. I, I got good trips, D. You know what I'm saying? You can see Rob Martin was backing up to kind of match that corner, but he wasn't going to match it all the way through. Uh, but he, he he backed up enough, bro, to get us a little quick, you know what I'm saying, a little quick saccharoni and cheese. Right here, we uh he throws in the flat. We pick that up, you know what I'm saying, good tackles. So I'm like, we got him to a third and 12. Then he goes to audible. I'm like, I'm going to man up Kittles, even though he has the short end, just so he can beat me on a quick throw. Uh, Ronnie Lott matches that init, that other corner route, and we get we get the coverage sack, fourth and seventeen. Right here is where. Let me know if y'all feel like uh, what y'all think. Right here is where I think I make a mistake. I'm going to send pressure right, but I put him in a hook curl. The reason I threw him in a hook curl is because I am sending pressure, and I don't want and I have to manually check this um this wheel route out the backfield. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking because he he sends out all routes. And then I want to check Belitnikov when he's motioning across. So I put him in a hook curl instead of leaving him in a curl flat. And you know what I'm saying? I, I feel like that wasn't the best move. And then he kind of glitched out and didn't get down in the box. So it kind of hurt with the pressure. We end up getting hit with the corner route. You know what I'm saying? And like hindsight, hindsight 2020. You know what I'm saying? With him blocking a running back, I could have left him in the curl flat, but I didn't know he blocked the running back. You know what I'm saying? So, I was kind of tight I gave that up. 
know what I'm saying? But at the same token, I couldn't be. I liked the the thought process and the adjustments at the at that moment. Just didn't work out. Again, I'm a man of um, Kittle. Just to hold him for a little bit if he tried to hit me in the seams. I run manually with that corner route. That that Flacco got 79 speed. So I like him taking off. I'm cool with it. You could, like if, had that been Lamar Jackson or even a Russell Wilson, I'd be a lot more concerned with him taking off and running. But with it being Flacco, you can run if you want right there. That was probably my biggest opportunity to get a stop. We matched the wheel. We matched the wheel. We knocked it out. We just couldn't get somebody. Both of them were on the ground, so I just couldn't get nobody there to pick the ball. You know what I'm saying? Like again, I'm I'm comfortable against this tight. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about his tight beating me like that. Right here, bad user. I get the knockout bad user. I'm playing in front of him because I'm expecting the high ball. So I want to stay in front so I can try to get in front of the receiver. And then maybe I can animate. And he just free forms it kind of behind me. And luckily, I'm able to turn around and knock the ball out. But... It was, it, it, like, hindsight, it, it was bad user. Again, fourth, and we get into another fourth down. Hits me on the um, end route. And, shit, it was just, I couldn't say nothing, bro, but just good dot. Like, as you can see, dog makes the, the good reads right here is another mistake on my end. I didn't realize until late it was bunch tight end, and I had my adjustments flipped. I want a flat zone on this side because people like the quick throw outs. Then I want the, the 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 seam flat here for the corner route. You know what I'm saying? And then my user would manually check the seam route, and then I would make my way back here. But I kind of got flipped because my, again he was he he's going from bunch the bunch tight end to all these different formations. And if I go seam if in bunch tight end. If I go seam flat, they check the seams, drop flat, and they always leave that open. And then there's a, a RPO on bunch tight end that's really good this year. So I always I try to go flat on the bunch side against bunch tight end. But he ended up catching me right there. So good, uh, good job. You know what I'm saying? Just a, a mental uh, mess up on my on my part. So again, coming out. I'm going to block this blitz, and then I'm going to try to get Dirty on dog for the tug. Like I said, as long as I score every play, I'm fine. You know what I'm saying? We pick it up. We throw the flat zone right there. If you notice on that, that's my that's my one issue with Russ. Watch how he loads up on just this flat route right here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't, it wasn't just a boom. It was a... Like, every now and again, for no reason. Damn, I only threw the ball five times. But it, I must be scoring quick. But with Russ, for some reason, bro, randomly, he would just load up crazy on the pass, bro. So that's my only thing I don't like about Russ. Right there, hitting with a QB draw just to let him know. Don't spread that line. You know what I'm saying? Just just a friendly uh, reminder from your friendly neighborhood spot, uh, spider nigga. Don't, don't 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 spread that line. One, I don't want to deal with the blitz like that. You know what I'm saying? And then two, I take it to the crib if you play. So again, right here, go ahead and hit that. Uh, uh, Derwin undercut that crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he undercut that crazy. Like that was a, that was a 50-50 ball. So again, I'm going to go slant then with the post on the backside and with that same white curl uh, look that got me the tug earlier. You know what I'm saying? So right there, I just hit it in the seams. Uh, it, the, the read was uh, extremely simple too, guys. I'm, again, reading this guy. Uh, I see he dropped back in coverage. I see he blitzes, so that means there's an opening here. I just hit that opening. That's all, man. I'm, I'm, I'm simplifying the game hella fine. And I feel like when you uh, playing, especially against blitzers, you don't have the comfort of reading the entirety of the field, bro. You got to read one part of the field, bro. And then if the blitz pickup is there, you can you make your progressions throughout. That's I mean, I feel like that's more so how you have to play this year right here. Go ahead and hit. The, I want y'all to look at this, bro. Look at all the panty cakes because he pass commits. 
Look at all the pancakes we get. But these niggas go to the second level and block no one. So now, you know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, you can't pay. All right, you pass commit. You know that was the issue. You can't pass commit no more. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep that line pinch. No pass commit. You know what I'm saying? All that is going to work in my favor and help me as we hit that post route and then we why catch it away from the knockout. Again, just read what that deep safety is going to do uh, up top. And then I just, I mean, you, you can't miss that read. You know what I'm saying? He cleared out the entire middle of the field with his adjustments, and that post is really killing him. So, again, you just make you aware, my boy. You pass Kid Minute again, and now you must pay with the touchy down. Penny cakes and sausages, my boy. Penny cakes and sausages. And I know y'all like, yo, man, how you, what, 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 you, you don't know he passed committed. That's the only time you get pass, you get pancakes, man. That's the only time. Uh, that's the only time you get pancakes, and that's the only time you get weak box, is if you pass commit. So, uh, them panty cakes and sausages, his dudes moving like slugs, let me know what it was. Right here, I'm finna blitz the, I'm a, I'm a blitz, uh, blitz the hell out you, and then I'm running for corner routes, you know what I'm saying? Right there, I got bumped a little, and it ended up being a really good user, and we just didn't get it with a nice saying we was able to pull out a win against a very very good opponent bro um i was happy you feed me and i appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy hope you all enjoyed this gameplay and i will get at y'all tomorrow man peace